Hey everybody, welcome back. So, <laughs> it's been hotter than Hades in North Carolina. Uh, it is actually 90, 97 degrees here in the shop right now. That's why I'm sweating. I got the fans off so you'll be able to hear me. Um, what I'm doing now is getting the coolant system cleaned out. Um, I have a, a uh, filter system, a whole house, a whole house filter system uh, after the pump, before it goes to the head. And I've also have been modifying the coolant system to get better recovery. Because that's one of the key elements if you're using flood coolant with the Tormach is the recovery system just, it, it, it sucks. Uh, the biggest thing is if you're still using the, the uh, chip pan that goes underneath the stand or underneath the machine in the stand like I am, it just, uh, it just sits here. Like there's no... Um, rake there's no slope to promote coolant to go down to this hole well what i did is i ended up taking this and putting it in my um, 20 ton press and took it and, pr and pressed this right here really deep i say really deep but just underneath it you can see that this is the first impact here and then slowly work my way around gradually coming out to where now starts to promote it now this trash can is high on this side but you can see it's a proof of concept right so before here all this water would be stagnant like how this side right here is but like I said this is uh, this side here on the trash can is, is low so what I'll do is I'll go back and in this area right in here, especially in, uh, in here and in here, is uh, take the press and press this down just a little bit just to deform this metal. Now, don't go too aggressive because you can't pop your welds around here and on the around the perimeter. So just an FYI. Hope that helps. Have any questions? Comment below. Thanks. Have a good one. 